before that, we gotta get through this match. One win to catapult themselves to the finals. Talking about UST, one win to force a knockout Wednesday. Talking about LaSalle. And here we go. Well, it's important actually for both teams to start out strong. Someone wants to control the match early on. No, no entry. First point goes to the Golden Tigers as the number two team of season 81. Oh, you know, these miscues, uh, these uh, over receptions. This is what LaSalle has got to check in today's game. But it, you know, they're in, actually in unfamiliar territories. Yep. They have to beat USD twice. Yep. And down you go. In the last all decade, since season 71, Noreen, LaSalle has been either number one or number two. Correct. It is their first time in a decade that they are that fighting for a twice to, uh, to get uh, to the finals. And they have to win twice. In the meantime, let's bring back Ayana Perlas for this report. Luminarine, the team had a triple celebration this week with two birthdays and one graduation. Happy birthday, May Luna and Tim Kiamson, and congratulations, Lourdes Clemente. Now, I was able to ask the two birthday girls what their birthday wishes are, and they both said that they just want to get in the finals. Again, very special on birthday ng dalawa as they were personally greeted by a well-known Lasallian alumni, someone the girls look up to, no other than Mr. Pure Energy, who visited training, Mr. Gary Valenciano. Now, Gary gave an inspiring talk to the girls yesterday and prayed over them and even sang for the girls. Now, one significant line in his prayer went, there is nothing magical about my words, Lord, but if the girls do their best and use the talent that you gave them, the win is not too far away. Back to you. I saw videos of that. Uh, wow. Gary Lee. Um, uh, the practice sessions of DLSU. Long rally produced uh, LaSalle point 2-1. That will be 3-1. Oh, and LaSalle. obviously for a team that lost the playoff last May 1, LaSalle losing in four sets, it is important for them to start off strong just to regain some sort of confidence. Yeah. Oh, namang UST. Gusto magsimula na malakas para kumbaga mambaun na. Yeah. Mambaun na. Pangin. Tutawagin nila. Balikan natin si Makayla Chavez this time from the USC side. Boomerang coach Kung Fu Reyes is more than proud of the USC Golden Tigers says have already come to reach the point where they're serious competing against whichever team. You know, notably impressive veteran leader CC Rondina told me that she's blessed to have a squad that goes hand in hand. She said, kahit ano pang mangyari, thankful pa din ako dahil na ilagay nila namin ang USC sa magandang pwesto. We all know that the ladies will be offering us a heated game, but one thing that makes us different from the previous match is their confidence as they've won two games already against the Denisal Lady Spikers this season. Kaya naman confidence and a real heart of a Tigress, two things they'll be carrying within them. Back to you, Boomerang. Des Cheng serving very well here. Going back to... Makailo's report this season, yes, as you see, Coach Kung Fu disappointed calling that timeout. They are 2 and 1 against the Sun. But as Andrew Mulia pointed out yesterday, when you get to the final four, it's 0 0. Yeah, yeah. Back to 0. And I think that, that game yesterday was, you know, an example of what can <laughs> happen and what may happen. So that's why the twice to beat advantage is a valuable advantage and incentive to have because you know if you especially for let's say a team like LaSalle who wants to win twice a day their mentality coming into this game is zero zero yeah. everything that will happen in the playoff and the elimination round is gone yeah you know you gotta forget the advantages of your opponents because that in itself you've lost half the battle you have to go and into the game thinking hey game. it's even of course yes, being positive, I have the advantage over my opponent so it's really the mindset of these players and how they're going to deal with this situation today's game. Yeah, and if you're UST, you also have to think that way. 0-0, no? wala kaming advantage. Oh, that's true. That's Kailangan very true. namin manalo today. That's true. And, and pick up where they left off in, in that last game. Speaking of picking up from where she left off, hey, Laure, with a little juice on that attack, open. Swinging away for the second point of USD. Two will be serving four. 
Boom, it seemed like a little Eight juice. Order. It seemed like a lot of juice. <laughs> Trying to be modest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Baka, baka mas marami pa yun mamaya. Oh. Oh. Nag-iipot pa ako. <laughs> Hey, Laure, her lowest output this year is 11 points. And in the second round, in the first round, it was 12 points. And like I said earlier, after last Tuesday, last uh, Wednesday's playoff, four times 17 points reduction for her as Jimenez is underneath that ball. No thoughts. Five four, four, will be serving five. three. Yeah, we like to talk about our super rookies, you know? I mean, yeah, Laura, obviously one of them. And for LaSalle, Jolina de la Cruz are really in the next few years. We, we, we. Oh, we're right. going to see them we're battle. Yeah. Just, just the two of them, there's going to be some great exactly. battles between the two of them in the next four years. Yeah, it's very exciting. Now, even for the other teams, yeah. like Sila Robles. Yeah, so. Laxina. Laxina, yeah. Cici Rondina. The thing also that Cici Rondina has developed in the last two years of her career is marunong na siya gumawa ng paraan dun sa mga set na hindi usually maganda pa sa kanya. Nahanapan niya ng paraan. Yeah, that's why we like to mention nga eh. Um, USD is really like number six in reception, something like that, no? But they're number one in spiking. So obviously, they really convert. It doesn't matter what set they get, they just have that goal of converting, which is good for them. Saga pops it up. Open to Tiamzon. That's a save and a joust. Yes. And Clemente yes. wins yes. that joust. Yes. Yeah, net violation also, I think, there on Jimenez. So. Man, it is electric today <laughs> here at the Ball of Asia Arena. We wish you were here with us, but if not, we thank you for watching us on SNA and on Liga. And available in high definition on SNA HD on and Zoom Liga HD. Zolina de la Cruz. Yeah, we appreciate also the effort of USD, even if they didn't get that point. That's how they won, actually, the last game. They were trying to get everything. Rondina gets the point C -C again. Rondina. Well, that's a challenge of LaSalle today. You have a Michelle Pop and whoever, like Clemente, going up against Rondina. So, floor now defense serving. has to be spot on. Lisa, Jimenez. Coverage. Yeah. Because there are some attacks there that CC is going to make that are going to go through that block. Yes. For sure with her power. Somebody touched the net. That's in the UST side. That's on violation. I think it's on the right. So that's a two-point lead still for La Salle. Yeah, obviously, nerves also setting in for these players. So that giggle, extra giggle today because US for USD, they yeah, want to win it today. Jumps on. Finals will start next weekend. And Good first ball from Laure, yeah. which sets up this one from Rondina. C and it is unrecoverable. You see how she changes her, her her spikes or her offense. She's making herself really unpredictable. And that's, that's maturity. That's that her evolution. The that's the evolution of she's she's here that's true. The Leading MVP candidate. Call. Clemente, that is out. Coach Ramil is Outside asking for a check. For US Erlindo Eusebio says nope. So we are tied for the very first time here at 7-all. Yeah. You know, Clemente's got to play consistent. We've seen a lot of big games from her. They need a big game from her today. It's a good serve from CeCe. Serve Catching Tintia on by surprise. And guess what? USD takes over the lead as a technical timeout. timeout. The De La Salle Lady Spikers were up 4-1 at uh, one point. Back on the service here CC, in Rondina. the uh, match. And all of a sudden, USD is up by one, 8-7. And Best Des Chen ties there. the ball game once again, 8-all. Well, you know, these players, they really, you know, you don't want to give your opponents a chance to create their own lead. You want to keep it close. But so far, no one's dictating the tempo. Paji Bar, O Bar, Sasaya. Eight L serving. Tied at seven, tied at eight.
Dakar will throw it to Ea. And, and Ea pounds the pavement once Ea again. Laure. You know, for USD, it's actually, you can see that their options, their first options are their outside hitters, their wing hitters. No? You, LaSalle has really got to work double time in terms of blocking because you cannot keep feeding the confidence of USD. You got to make these stops. Mirai delivers a serve to get this rally going. Michelle trying for the 1-2. Masyado malapit. At kaya, tumama sa net. That's what Riley said. Boy, for USD. Actually, I saw two players hit the net from opposite yeah. sides. But that's from my angle. No, pero Lasal ang tinawagan, di ba? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, it is Ogunsanya who was called for that touch. That was clear, actually. It was Ogunsanya. Ogunsanya, yeah. So you can see the reaction of Ea. She knew right. it wasn't her. Right. <laughs> two straight points for USD here for a two-point lead. Make that a three-point lead oh, as sir. everybody has really gotten in on the action, so to speak. And that has been the reason why oh, the man. USD Golden That's Tigers awesome. are the number two team. That's true. There's a lot of contributions from everybody, top to bottom. Supporting, supporting the USD. Back on the first line. That's her uh, mother school. They're hoping to get back to the finals. The last time they were there, as we mentioned, Noreen, as this is an error on the USD side and a point for LaSalle. Last time they were there was season 73. They lost that year to DLSU. That's all right. Uh, Chuck Cruz was the MVP of that series. But the year before, the last time they won the finals was the year before season 72, El which was Silly. against LaSalle so with uh, Rea Dimaculana as the MVP of the series. So LaSalle has been there for so long. But it's been a lot of battles between these two schools also. Yeah. Adjustment by Laure. De La Cruz over the blockers. That's still illegal. Yep. A legal hit. Still alive. The car goes to the middle. Galdones unable to put it away. Cobb will open up to Chang. Chang finds a spot Duffy. behind Galdones yeah. and Picard. And she is going to be crucial today. It is. And but what about that drop with such finesse, no? She really disguised it right behind the blockers. <laughs> that reaction. She's got, you know, for Lasal, you want to see more of that from this check. You were saying that last Wednesday. Cobb with the service. Laure. An easy take for Lasal. They're behind one here. De La Cruz. Return to center, no, says no USD. What a good block there for USD. You know, they're really showing us a different dimension to their game. They're not just offense. They're actually a pretty decent blocking team. Uh, Kofu here on the side the is actually gesturing to Casey Galdones to you know, it, it's actually coaching her mechanics on how to swing that ball <laughs> Para mas solid as Outside. De La Cruz sends this Four. out Four. So USC. now biggest lead for USD has been three so it's there again at 13-10 Final four set number one if you're LaSalle, you want to calm down, no? You don't want to come see these unforced errors because when you're playing against USD, who's very consistent so far. Now you want to convert so offense as well. Biggest lead now at four, 14 10, courtesy of a service ace and Coach Ramil will call a timeout. Timeout, tell us all.
top serve to read. 14-10 is the score, and the USD faithful are enjoying it so far. They were down 1-4 here, and a nervous start for USD, but they have recovered, and recovered perfectly. Back on the service line. Booming ng malalim si Coach Alina, Kofi dito sa gilid natin. I, I'm sure he feels a little bit of nerves too, right? Oh yeah. As Ogunsanya comes up with her second Badu clean Day. attack. Ogunsanya! Yeah, we gotta mention, of course it's a mi mixed emotions, you know, excitement for being here. And also, actually I haven't been here. Right. <laughs> I, had, I haven't had this twice to beat advantage. And I think as a coach, no? so really mixed emotions for Coach Kofi. Well, he had success That's as a player, player in all his five years. Winning program, either first or second lamang, and a lot of success in high school, of course. Three championships. Yep. Hoping to translate that in the college division. Two and Jamila De La Cruz responds to uh, Coach Ramil's timeout. Yeah, that's what you like to see. You know, after committing this this error, somebody's gonna come come right out and score a point. So Jelena, we talked about her in the pregame. She's been playing very consistent for, for Coach Ramil. And she will get her numbers for LaSalle. Des Cheng. 12 serving 14. That sails Service out. Four for USC. But if you're a LaSalle fan, you might be a bit happy because you know that Deshae is going back to 100% because we saw it when she was struggling with her injury. No, sir. Her services hey, were affected. No, greatly. So now it's going out, so that's a good sign. Regalo! Pisa. And the rookie, Isa Jimenez, Jimenez. puts Little it away. Milena Alessandrini in attendance Set. right beside Makayla Chavez as her team is up by four. We'd like to greet the viewers watching through I Want, the I Want app, and of course, especially through I Want Sports. If you haven't had the uh, app yet, please do so or update it on uh, the Play Store. And of course, service out. Boy, for Della You can check it out, and there's now more to watch uh, for the I Want app. New original series, blockbuster Pinoy movies, teleseries, live news, concerts. L survey. As I want. Okay. I'm download now. And of course, UAAP action via I want sports. LaSalle getting the point after the technical timeout. And a good sign of serving. Crazy. See, this is why. Oh, and look at, little, look at Kung Fu. He's smiling. He's <laughs> clapping. He was trying to teach Casey how to swing at that ball. Because he was the one who was the one and he was the one very happy about that attack because you know the to be say and then a very obedient player very obedient no and we talked about it even in the pri uh, the previous game is these are very important you know points as support to your two Correct. top hitters that's her second point already as Dela Cruz Puts it away. De La Cruz. Again, we know that Jodina De La Cruz is going to be a, one of the first options for LaSalle. And she's been delivering, you know, not 100% in terms of uh, errors, but at least scoring for LaSalle. Mars Alba and the birthday girl, May Luna. Mars Checking Alba back in, Jodina, Jodina and Mitch Kong will go to the bench Selva. real quick as Mars Alba will serve for the LSU down three. And if you're LaSalle, you want Luna every time serving. she comes off Mars. the bench and oh, enters the court, you want her to create the impact, impact right away because we've seen some games that she does and when she does, good things happen to LaSalle. That's what they're hoping today. It's back in the UST side. CC is back in front. It's same. They go back to CC. And they shut no, the door on no Godina that play. time. To the delight of the LaSalle fans. But you know, that girl, CC, will keep attacking nevertheless. Yeah, these blocks won't put her down, <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, but but if you're LaSalle, you're happy. That's what you have to do. You've right, got right. the number one uh, thing is really to stop CC right. Rondina. It's close to impossible, but these blocks left and so right will be very important. Ah, that's you painful, though, for LaSalle. That's the second. 
service error for DLSU in the game. Hell, sir. Right after an impact Lisa, block, you come up with that. Yeah. Noreen will always say, you halt your own momentum. That's true. As Jimenez is also a great server for UST, is on deck. But Clemente Levante. finds an open spot at the corner. So DLSU sticking around here. Two point lead for the Golden Tigresses. Our JRS Express best Golden play of the game. Nasa Galanza. Nasa Galanza. Checking in for the Golden Tigresses. Of course, we know that these coaches, chess match, you know, trying to put in players that will create impact. Good serve. Dim Dim, comes on. That's a double contact. Double contact by Lisa. Point 1916 for USD. Yeah, you know that error really is more of hesitation. You know, very close to Saga. Saga could have picked it up, and normally no if it the libero C -C there, the libero Romina. will get that second ball. But if you hesitate, really, sometimes it really that more often it alters the way you set or you receive or hit. No, no USD great. returns the favor. And <laughs> look at the reaction of Dim Dim Pakres. Well, you said it. If you're a bench player, you come in, you want to come in with a little impact. <laughs> or although in that sequence, I think it was see si Virai Ba, Virai was the one who had the block. Will be credited with that one. That's a four-point lead now for USD. Back-to-back -back blocks by the Golden Tigresses to give Shut themselves down. a five-point lead. Yeah, what about the defense of USD? We always say offense versus defense. USD being the offensive team, but back they back can back. show For some net defense back. too. Yeah, what a read, no? You can see the way they're anticipating the offense of LaSalle. Still but serving. if you're LaSalle, okay, CC, you gotta acknowledge USD is defending well, blocking well. Your coverage has got to work for you. The pickup. AL will give a free ball to LaSalle. Down five. Miscommunication between Cobb and Clemente here. But seriously, they had the right thing in mind. It's just that they weren't able to connect. But I remember in that game, LaSalle versus Ateneo, where in the middles were connecting and good things happened to LaSalle. So if they have the right thing in mind, now communication will be key from, from now. Biggest lead of the match. Cheng in the middle. Oh, the dig. That was the graduating Rita Rivera. The push by Pacres. Cheng swinging away. And, uh, and down it goes. Galanza yes, couldn't it handle it. Was, actually, Galanza was surprised Ula. at that. Oh. But Des Cheng, you know, he's got to be creative. She also knows that the blockers are going to eye her. So that's the right thing to do. Look at the defense of your opponents. She saw it down the line. A surprise to Lanza, and she gets the points for the It cannot be that she will have nine points only cannot. in this match. Cannot, cannot. That was her output in that May 1 matchup. Oh, nobody getting the second it's ball. Four, 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 what USD. happened there, Doreen, as this is back to a six-point lead for USD? Already in practice, normally the second ball, once the real setter gets the first ball, is the, libe the libero. Who will chase. The, who will chase the second ball, but there was no libero in that play, so miscue. So they really got to talk. They could have been anyone Team to get it, but so they, again, we mentioned communication is key. Nice serve! Serve! Save. We have set point and the biggest lead for the Golden Tigresses. For our boys to pocket set number one. Set opportunity for the USC. You know who we said that early on in this match. First ball Serving is very important. Who has a better reception. Will eventually win this match. Service hour. So seven point set points saved there by a service error for USD. Mitch Cobb will go on deck. Well, this is a very formidable front line Mel for the Sal. Michelle Gaw. But they have no room for error. <laughs> they don't, yeah, you're right. Caldones unable to put it away. Reverse set to Jolina. Jolina saves another Long set point here. Buster. Looking at Coach Kung Fu here. He's looking at whether he's going to call anything or change someone. He has five more set points to play around with.
Well, again, you know, we always say this. If you're faced with set point, let's say you're down by five, down by four, let's say you go on to lose a set, you always want to build momentum going into the next oh! set. Oh! Oh, you were saying... Casey Cantones!